What's happening, everybody? J Shock Blast here, and we are back. I think this is part 59 of Marvel Future Fight series, and we've got some more information as the game loads about another new character coming soon. Uh, so we, uh, there we go, 50 clear tickets. Tomorrow we get 100 energy. Oh, the hiccups come. Ugh. Anyway, Spider-Man 2099. Ooh, Alliance Conquest has begun. You can enter the Alliance Conquest now. And what do we do? Let's enter. Prep phase. I've never done this before. Uh, set characters. Set characters for Alliance Conquest. What's the order here? Alright, so I uh, cannot be used to conquer this region. I don't understand. They all say cannot be used to conquer this region. Uh, conquer stars. I really don't understand what's going on here. I don't understand. All right, we'll leave it alone. It looks like we have uh, two hours, so the video should be up by then. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's a little annoying. I don't understand exactly what's going on there, but we'll figure it out. Um, so what do I got for you? Here's what I got right here. Killmonger is confirmed, and it looks like they're going with the the stupid basically reproduced costume it's just another black panther costume i mean i understand he's worn it before but it's the least interesting thing they could possibly do and i i say that for the movie too like honestly i don't think this is gonna like be the be all end all of the movie i think the movie's gonna be phenomenal you know even if he was wearing a paper bag over his head like spider-man but i it just annoys me because i don't really feel like that is I don't think that's the best look for him, you know? Like, I feel like I would really like it if he, he had his little, his mask, you know? Um, that looks like a million times better. Ooh, congratulations, Dank Ops. Six-star mastery on the cables. Congrats. So you guys will be very proud of me. I have not spent, like, any black antimatter at all uh, in the last couple days. Uh, I'm just kind of like letting it sit there. Uh, I am just trying to get uh, Cable to level 45 so I can, you know, burn these Phoenix Feathers here and uh, then just keep collecting them again. I won't level him up for a bit. I'm going to, I'm going to actually, I should probably just get these so I can get him to four stars as well. And then I will continue to level Quicksilver um, and then we'll go from there, but I haven't really felt the need to actually do anything with Adam Warlock right now because I know it's not like the end of the world important. So, um, but I do just want to get at least cable to level, uh, 45. That way I can just get him to four stars and start collecting Phoenix feathers again. Uh, let's go to Spider-Man 2099 and as you can see, we are getting very close. Wow. 
uh, we're getting pretty close, not very close, pretty close to having him uh, ready for his ascension, if you will. Um, I uh, now have another character ready for tier two. So obviously we have uh, X-23 ready for tier two. I just need to figure out how to get her nine more biometrics. It's probably going to come through the processor, but that's a catch-22. We'll get into that. Uh, Red Hulk ready for Tier 2. Hela ready for Tier 2. I now have Loki ready for Tier 2. And this is one that I am actually going to use a ticket on. And I I just want to have him... I'm, I'm making him super strong. You know, he's, he's grinding his way to a mythic uh, costume here. And there is a reward for getting him to tier two. So it's pointless to use by to save up biometrics when I'm gonna need like 400 just to get him to the mythic costume. So we're gonna use a tier two ticket here. And boom, Loki is tier two. Share that. Uh, I feel like Loki's pretty strong. I mean, I'm definitely trying to build him up. Ooh, challenges complete. Some G. Yeah. So, I'm I'm okay with this. I like Loki a lot. Uh, he's really strong. Um, so, we just need to level up his skills some more to make him a little bit more viable, which uh, I won't do now. You'll never know when I use it, do it because, I don't know. Um... But yeah, I want to get his uh, his costume up to Mythic so I can get those final rewards. Um, what I'm going to end up doing, what I have been doing, I think I'm pretty brilliant here. Um, when it comes to leveling him up, uh, when I go into like Executioner's Axe here, I, wait, I do all five where I can get the reward on Thor since those are Mythic rewards. Not that I think it's really that much, um, you know, that much better, but... It's better to get the red box and the orange box. So once I've done all five for Thor, I'll go in and I'll run this one. And I won't get this reward, but I will get uh, the Enchanted Uru chest. Uh, heroic, I don't know. It doesn't sound too great. But this is what I'm really itching on or trying to get to is this will complete the set as well. So I just need to get that costume up to Mythic and we'll do that. Somebody opened a rift. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Should I get into here? Yes. I don't even care if it's not, like my group that's not leveling right now. Uh, just to be able to get in. This is going to complete. But I should get 300,000 gold right away. See, this is what I try to do. And the advantage of making my video like right when the turnover happens at 10 a.m. is... A lot of people start up their new riffs at that time. So I get in on the action. Ronin's a good one for me. I'm definitely trying to get that. I am ready to get another mythic card. Um, I'm just trying... I've got a couple cards that aren't the easiest to get. They're not like your common cards that you get from doing the riffs. And I'm trying not to use those, those orange versions of the card to level up other ones that I don't get that often. Um, I don't really care what they do because I'm probably not going to use them, but just getting them to red is, is good enough for me. Alright, so that should put us at 100%. Ooh, it does not, but it'll get there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I mean, this has 9 minutes to get there. It'll get there. Uh, this one... Eh, maybe it'll get there, maybe it won't, I don't know. But to show you what I mean, here's where I'm at cards-wise. Um, so these ones, whatever, I'll just auto-upgrade. I know my... my uh, ooh, that's a challenge, nice. I know my, uh, my greens and blues right now, although this one... Well, let's go ahead and... Upgrade this one, why not? I've been getting a couple of those ones, so I'm not like super worried about it. 
but I'm thinking out of all of these, I do have one of that. I've, I've gotten a couple of these recently, so I'm contemplating that one. This one I've gotten a couple of, so it's not like that big of a deal. This is one of the ones that I don't see very often, so I'm thinking of making this be the one that I take to Mythic. That one, whatever. And then this is the other one I'm considering. Um, because I don't know that I've ever gotten this card. That one, whatever. That one, whatever. This is one of the ones that I'm, I'm possibly, I'm saving. This one I'm also saving. So as you can see, I have, you know, that one, two, the, all right. So the Amazing Spider-Man Civil War. The Civil War there, the Vision, and the Amazing Spider-Man Civil War here. Oh, and that so there's five of those that I'm definitely saving. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use those to to burn a card up to the red. Um, but I do have the two Loki, the 1872, and the Marvel Zombies. So I need one more generic, you know, card that you can get from the rifts. And I'll take the first one. Um, I know that... I don't really care what the cards say. Because I don't really know that I can use any of these. Like, I don't, this doesn't seem like it's a card that I would want to use. Um, this one does... I mean, it's got cooldown, but that's about it. This one doesn't seem like one I would want to use. Uh, this one does not seem like one I would want to use. And this one does not seem like one I would really want to use. Maybe it would be. Uh, this one. This one seems like it might be okay. I don't know if it's great, but it seems okay. I don't know. I, I, I sometimes get confused with what's good. Like, I feel like I get a million different answers as to what's good with these. All right, that's my favorite thousand. Boom. And that's how you do it. <laughs> Jump in at the end and scavenge it. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to put a lock on it, though. I'm just going to put a lock on these ones just so I don't accidentally... These are the ones that... Uh, maybe they pop up more often than I can remember. This one honestly was on that list at one point, but I think I have like three of it in my inventory right now. All right, I have two of it. I did have three at one point, but now that I have those locked, I, I feel a little bit better. So, once I get a card up to red, am I able to like deconstruct it? That would be great. Um, I have like 4,000 dimension debris, and I'm always out of gear up kits. Uh, I'll buy that. Just I'm I'm always out of the chaotic ones, so uh, I buy gear up kits every chance I get. Um, I have not even been using the warp device to be honest with you. I've been saving everything up. I want to keep uh, leveling up my producer. So like right here. I also have used it here a couple times. See, I don't even have... I wish this would use Dimension Debris. That would be, like, so much more useful to me. Um, but I digress. Yeah. The gear up kits, I think, are, are used far too much. Also, uh, the next time I level up, I'll be able to get Comet cards this way. Again, obviously with gear up kits. Jeez. Uh, I, as soon as I get like a, a decent amount of them, I feel like those get used like so much. So, all right, let's go fight Magneto here. I've been leveling Karnak. Oh, actually, I've been leveling Karnak because we're really close to having him.
All right, just for the sake of the of the watching, I'm just gonna do this. She's about to get to six stars. All right, close. All right, so we're gonna take Karnak to six stars. So rank up. So Karnak is six stars, and we're gonna master him to six red stars because then quest. Oh, we we'll only get a hundred Black Panther biometrics today too. All right, so we're gonna special mission quest pack select. So we finished two more of these. There's 150,000 gold and 50 Norn Stones of Brilliance. So I only have two more of these missions to do on War of Kings, uh, which, by the way, one of my favorite Marvel stories ever. So we need to get Moon Girl to six stars and Gorgon to six stars mastery. Uh, so let's go ahead and select that one again. And uh, once we do that, we're uh, going to get ourselves a... Another tier two ticket, sweet. So uh, I guess now is when I start working on Moon Girl because um, she only has to get to six stars. So I don't think I'm that close with her. I think I only ever, I think I just barely got her to four stars at this point. So that'll be what I work on next there. Obviously I'm burning out some of the clears and everything. I'm at 63% of uh our way to level 70 which is awesome uh quite possible we'll be there tomorrow uh we'll do alliance mode i don't do that that often uh combat type not my strength but uh we'll do these three Now, I know that rotations and canceling out, not my strength, uh, <laughs> definitely brought to my attention quite often. Um, I don't know enough of these characters, and I will admit to that. Um, so, I think that's part of the issue sometimes. Like, with Nova, I feel like I've learned, you know, how to use him pretty well. Um, but with a lot of them, uh, a lot of them I just don't know their, their skills well enough. Because I don't really use them. I don't use very many of them. Um, so the ones I'm obviously a little bit more familiar with, I think I do better with. Uh, Hulk, I'm kind of learning... Also, a lot of times, like, I'll tell you one that really drives me insane is uh, Shadowlands. Whenever it's, like, rumble mode, when there's a bunch of them, and it's, like, super zoomed out. Like, I can barely even see what's going on long enough to, uh, <laughs> to, to really do much, but I like Hulk. Um, I do not like this costume for Wolverine. Like, I know that it's a good costume, like, it, it makes him a little bit better and everything, but I don't like the aesthetics of it. I wish you could use the skills of a costume, but you could hide it, if that makes sense. I know you can do that in, like, I don't know, take Destiny, for example. You can, like, use the helmet, but hide it, so that you can see your character's face. I wish there was something like that. Although, I guess you kind of have to with him having the, uh... The cannon arm. He's just not my favorite, like, costume. And honestly, like, I w probably wouldn't have even bought it if it weren't for the fact that you needed it for the uh, the last wave of X-23. Not only did you need it, but you needed it to be, like, rare. A 
Although I do kind of like. Oh no, they're on. They're flaming. Okay. I was gonna say. Although I do kind of like it that um, <laughs> looks like they're uh, bloody. That'd be pretty cool. Today we're getting biometrics for Warwolf, which I I understand uh, from listening and reading you guys that uh, Warwolf is was pretty strong when he came out. Um, like, definitely a character that people would use a lot, but... Dank Ops needs better cooldown for Cable. Welcome back to the group, buddy. We were all sad to see you go the first time. But glad you're back. Having fun. I have to say, there's a really good core to the, uh... To the guild. I mean, I know I love it when I, I don't always respond to everything that's being said, um, but I do sometimes, and I do love it that you guys all you know talk and chat and everything. That's that's the best part. You know, getting everybody to be you know more consistent. Um, you know, there there's some that are like silent, but like still contribute, and that's great too. There's no right or wrong answer to it. Um, but, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just really enjoying having a great group. Oh, nice. We get three-star rank up for Warwolf. So, I, I'm, I've kind of enforced a, uh, a fairly strict, um, ah, yes, we're going to get in on this. This is the guy, the guy I was telling you about. <gasps> no! It says, look at that. It was at 83% when I clicked on it. Oh, man. Less than three minutes to get to 100%. And it says it's at capacity. Garbodsky. Oh, that one's full, too. Dang. Some of you guys got some good, some good groups following you. All right, we'll get in on Danks here. Man, we'll end the, end the video after this run. But that Colonel John Casey dude, man. Oh, I didn't even see it pop up. But I was going to say, like, whenever I see it pop up, I, like, rush to get there. Because if, if I'm not there within the first minute... Like, even though, like, it's 100%, like, that's one that I would, I would keep farming. Um, you know, like, I would buy energy to keep farming it because, like, it's just the best. It's the best rift that you can have open. Um, you get the most rewards out of it, so. But, anyway. Uh, so I'm happy to have Loki at Tier 2. Um, you know, I'll go get that, in, you know, Super Uru thing. For having tier two and I'm I'm not leveling him towards mythic right now obviously because I'm leveling both uh, Karnak and Silk who I got to six stars yesterday as well um, I'm leveling both of them so see it says nine out of ten I should be able to join this rift entry limit reached I don't agree with you. It says 9 out of 10. But, like... I don't know. I would join this one and... You know, I would get... You know, one or two Yellow Jacket biometrics. And then on top of that, I'd get, like, a random Ant-Man or Giant-Man biometric. So... Whatever. Man, even this one filled up fast. Dang. So... Alright guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We were just kind of hanging out doing our thing. And uh, yeah man, uh, shout, outs to, shout outs to everybody here on the friends list. Let me know if you see yourself. Uh, I had switched my avatar to, what's her name, Luna Snow for a while. It's crazy to see that there's more than one Luna Snow that is... Uh, <laughs> that is tier two. So.
guess there's a couple people here that haven't logged on in a while. I don't look through this. Oh, man, I feel bad. Like, I feel bad when I see names that I know, like, from just posting on on the page, uh, on the channel. I feel bad, but I'm probably going to have to clear out some of these people. So, if you're lucky, uh, there might be some openings by the time you're able to watch this video in the friends list. So, I'm not going to do that and embarrass them on on video. It's not even embarrassing. It just is what it is. You know, I'm trying to... There's so many people that want on the friends list, that want in the, the group, the alliance. And I'm just... Uh, yeah, I only have so many slots, you know. So, I, I'm trying to free it up for people that are playing more consistently. I understand things happen. You might not log in for a couple days. I, I've been tr typically giving about a week, so... Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed today. Hope you have a great day, great weekend. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday right around the corner. So excited. We'll see you.